Hi, my name is Sandy Schofield, and I'm coming to you from the unceded traditional territory of the Tsleil-Waututh, the Squamish, and the Musqueam people in what is otherwise known as Vancouver, British Columbia. This is not originally my home, however, I've been here a very long time, and it has become my adopted home thanks to the graciousness of those First Nations who I cited already. Um, I'm a guest on their territory. Anybody who's ever been here knows what a beautiful environment it is, and they also must know about our temperate climate, so that means it rains. We call this the wet coast. And, uh, you know, the thing about all that is that it's very uh, evocative. It's very emotional kind of weather, and it's very conducive to my style of songwriting. I like to write with metaphor, and I treat my songwriting as storytelling. I am telling a story, a beginning, middle, and an end. So I'm very grateful that I live here in this environment because I find it helps, it helps me process things in my own personal life, which in turn always comes out in some form of a song. And uh, like I say, I like to write metaphor, so I'm not gonna hit you over the head with uh, a love song per se. Although I have been known to write them. Uh, what else can I say? Yeah, just the environment, the renewal of the salmon, the, the fantastic eagles, the abundance of eagles here, the ancient trees that are here. It's all very conducive to setting down roots. And um, as I say, I've been here a very long time. Uh, there's quite a few people I want to acknowledge, but I don't think I have time to acknowledge them all. I'm Métis, so I work a lot in the Indigenous community. I also work for non-Indigenous people, audiences. And one Indigenous person who's really supported me over the years and contributed to my sense of home here is Marco Kane. She's another Métis, and she's an actor, a singer, and a producer. And she's produced a very well-known festival called the Talking Stick Festival. It's a multidisciplinary festival and she brings artists from every discipline from around uh, Turtle Island. And she's hired me several times over the years in different capacities and I just want to acknowledge her because it's been her her involving me in the in the festival has always helped my sense of connection, my sense of belonging, my sense of home with the other indigenous artists that are, that attend and of course the audiences that I attend. Another person that's helped me a lot in my career um, who is not Indigenous is Randy Rain Roosh. I first met him when I was doing my undergrad in music at SFU. He taught a world music class that I attended. And that's where I first met him. He's since hired me to be a mentor for a program called Emergence, which is a, a mentoring program for emerging women, female music artists. He hired me, he was the artistic director of a world music festival in Borneo, Sarawak. Uh, he hired me and my traditional women's group of Squayo singers to come out there. And most recently, he recommended me to the artistic director of WOMAD, the uh, festival, the heaviest festival on the globe that Peter Gabriel started. So I've been blessed to be able to say that I'm going to be performing in South Africa in September. And following that, we have a couple of dates in Egypt, of all places, in Cairo and Alexandria. So I'm very, very honored. And uh, I, like I said, I want to give a shout out to Randy. Um, <clears throat> it goes without saying, we have a huge community of Indigenous people here, a lot of urban Indigenous people, people who have relocated from other territories in the country, me included. and. Um, it's all part of my sense of home. It's part of my sense of belonging. There's a community that I belong to, that I'm a part of, that I contribute to, that I learn from, that I walk amongst. And this all affects my art. So I just want to say thank you very much for inviting me to participate in this. And I hope you've learned a little bit about my sense of home here on the wet coast.